Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringer's Watch. I'm your host Falk and tonight we are once again looming through the shadows and uh, continue our search here in Vampire. Um, last time we uh, fought William Bishop who we forced thought to be the uh, person who transformed us, but it looked like uh, this William Bishop is a person who isn't even a real vampire. Uh, then we met Dr. Swansea again, who brought us to the Pembroke Hospital and offered us a job as a... Um, um, what was it? Um, as a doctor, let, let's stay with this. Uh, since we are, uh, what was it, specialist in blood transfusion? What well, is some irony since we are a vampire, right? Okay, um, let's talk to Dr. Swansea. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. We'll have a word in my office later, Jonathan. Okay, so we can't go up this stairs. Okay. Nah, it's not People are fighting back there. Oh. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river, try it all. So, we need to Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Wow, what a nice guy. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I'm in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... A, I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Clay Cox. Mm, blood quality. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Okay, mesmerize. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them, to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press LB to mesmerize clay. Shadows. Follow the red trail uh, to lead your prey into the shadows. Okay. Embrace. Or release. Press A to embrace clay cox or B to release him. Embracing clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gain. Okay, I think I want to release him. As I mentioned no. earlier... Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Right. Can we talk to Clay Cox? Or will he just sit here and... Bleed. Oh, now we can talk. What? what happened? Whoa, I feel giddy. Did I black out? Whoa, I feel. Okay, nothing new giddy. here. Oh, there's a treasure. Two springs. Can I heal myself and patch myself a bit up? 
It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. No, it's just true. Mm. Here's another treasure. Tiny cotton handle part. Okay. Mm. Aluminium powder. Nothing here, so we can go upstairs here. Down there's Clay Cox, he is healthy. Okay, details. There are four hints we can find to Clay Cox. And we need one mesmerized point to uh, enchant him. Okay, citizen menu of the Pembroke Hospital. This Dr. Edgar Swansea has good. Uh, blood quality and needs six points and mesmerize uh, to get mesmerized. Uh, okay, there are several others uh, to find, but I think we we should go and do our job as a doctor. And. Okay, there's the, the hospital and out here are beds. Why are out here beds? Are, aren't they safe? Are they infested with, with a plague or class vials? Yeah, yeah, Dr. Nurse Dorothy, we, we are coming right away. Let me talk to her. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. The new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Flanagan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Okay, Gwyneth Brannigan. Your life in London, what is the situation here? How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Okay. The invisible enemy? An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Okay. Could this hospital fail? Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Mm, I think we, uh, uh, as we came to the pier down there, um, the nurse told the doctor Swansea that another nurse uh, resigned. Okay, tell me about the staff. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Okay. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Okay, so Dr. Corcoran Tippetts. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No, I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Okay. So anything others? Some personal questions. Okay, for that we need 
Some more hints. <laughs> okay. Good line, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, that said. Is there anything else? You are some more tents. Ah, oh, that's the running button. Two small bottles. Okay. Down there has been Dr. Swansea, but now we move. Come on, and then, yeah. We should go to Dorothy, I think. Instead of idling and talking to other staff members. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. That was quick. Or Dr. Swansea uh, anticipated that we that we will be a doctor here at some day. Maybe he planned that for several years now. And he's the one that um, uh, paid a, a vampire to bite us, so we may be accidentally step upon him uh, and and find him in a bar and talk to him, and then he can lure us into the Pembroke Hospital. What the devil of a man! Ooh. And he wears a holy sign. So let's ask a few questions. I would like to ask a few questions first. Um, who is Dr. Swansea? What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Okay. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Okay. Who is Mr. Hampton? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Ah, um... Hampton has been the uh, uh, holy man we found with William Bishop, I think. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Hmm, okay. Steps up, left, okay. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Good. What is this? Hospital full. Due to the influenza, this hospital can no longer take any patients. Hospital full. Please go back home. Oh, okay. That's a sign you could hang on some hospitals right now. Due to Corona, this hospital is full. Please go home. Well, wherever you may live, maybe it's true for your country then. I'm sorry if I... Uh... Okay, let's continue in the game. Let the Rira... Uh... Let, let us leave the Rira behind. That's... That is why we play games after all, right? Or oh, for it's scary if you like in horror games. So what's back here? Despite uh, other than this this fire. Is this secure? I don't think so. So here's no one. Ah yeah, we can use our sense. Who are you? Good evening, nurse. 
Good evening, Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Oh, okay. Your life in London, though, we need a hint. How's the situation here? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? What a pessimist. You must get a hold of yourself, Nurse. <sighs> Sorry. I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Okay. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Well... <laughs> You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, Sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Eh? How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Oh, okay. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Do we need to mesmerize Milton? Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Ah, oh, details about Milton Hooks. I think we saw him uh, striding here in the background somewhere. Can we ask some personal questions? No. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. So this is Greenith Brannigan. There are some patients in the background. There are... Oh, fancy hat. <laughs> Um, this is Pippa, this is Milton. Let's talk to Milton. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh. So, uh... Who was it? Pippa said Milton isn't friendly to doctors, but it doesn't seem to me that he dislikes us. So let's ask some... No, let's ask about the life in London. How's the situation around here? How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is alright? It's fucking awful. <laughs> we lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. Okay. Quite an interesting side of uh, life. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Huh. 
Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Local investigations. A new citizen investigation is available. Press start to open the local investigations menu. Oh, it's select. Citizen investigations. Citizen investigations are displayed here, categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X. Then access to your map to locate the area to explore. Okay. So. We got a clue from Milton Hooks and Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, Citizen Quest, Enter the Backyard Garden. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, we have it tracked. We can untrack it and we can track it. Okay, so your mediocre reputation. Let's talk about that. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's hard to imagine the horrors the other person has seen. Okay, let's look if we... Okay, no personal uh, questions here either. There are lots of hints to the people, I think. And let's I'd straight. Like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Ah. Okay, we can buy Milton's shotgun, okay. But that costs us some bucks we don't have. Others are spare parts, as far as I can see. And ammunition. Shotgun shells are three. A piece, I think, and bullets are one uh, bucket thing. A piece. Okay, so we talked to Milton. Oh, what's in here? Small bottles. Good, 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 good. So, nothing else is back here, right? Only patients. Okay, so let's enter the hospital. Ah, oh, there, there's another doctor. Sister. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Okay, so let's talk about Dr. Tippett's life in London. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. <laughs> it's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Oh, okay. Tell me about the staff. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? 
Some are really good and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. A positive man. Tell me more about cherished people then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Okay. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. So, we found Dr. Swansea out of his office in a bar. Uh, doing some research or writing in books and carrying holy signs to fend off vampires. Uh, but it looks like he isn't uh, really doing much in the hospital. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No, we must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more unto the breach. Oh boy. Nurse Branigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Branigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Yeah, if you listen to her opinion, then go and rest a bit. Take a, a day off, or at least a few hours and get some sleep. And also here, no personal questions we can ask. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. So, so many new people here. There's someone, oh god, what's that a face and, and what? Is that haircut? There's Milton. Uh, all the other persons are inside the hospital, I think. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Okay. Fear and disgust on every street corner. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. How is this day with How us? How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my drift. Uh. You heard that the shout for help? Should we go and check? How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. Oh, we can't. Can I ask you pres it's the pain, sir. Oh, we can't. Who is treating Who you? Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Oh, okay. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? 
I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Okay, so it sounds like he was the lowest of the lowest uh, in the ranks. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. We need some more uh, hints here. Who are you? You are Pepper Hawkins. Okay. There's another patient. So who are you? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. Oh. How do you feel, Dr. Reed? Mr. Hampton. Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Let's talk about... Um... The Holy Man's life in London. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Okay. Who should I avoid in this part of town then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Okay. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Oh boy. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. Oh, okay. So no details about Miss Hawcroft uh, revealed here. You are a hero, or a fool. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Okay, then about the situation... The general yeah. situation in the East End docks. The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. What? Wet boot boys? Okay. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show. With the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. But we found Clay Cox, right? He was the one we didn't drink the blood from. Uh, on the... On the dock. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. That's a relief. Hey, okay. oh, we can ask some personal questions here. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Okay. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. 
I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Oh, okay, so I'm not a holy man, but someone who could be a holy man due to the faith in um, his Lord and Savior. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. But it worked against us. Uh, Dr. Swansea had one, well, a bigger version, and it perfectly worked. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Okay. Who's the locked door? I cannot enter. Yeah, okay. So, we'll finish the episode here. I think um, there are lots and lots of interesting people here in the Pembroke Hospital. And I'm eager to uh, talk to the other patients and the other uh, uh, staff members in this hospital. Especially to the one with a strange haircut. Oh boy. Um, thank you all for watching, for liking, sharing and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!